Hey folks, Steve here, uh, doing a video, uh, shorter one today because I've not yet been able to do the uh, review of Fall of the Third Reich or anything for uh, Korea Fire and Ice yet. Uh, it's coming, but um, not not quite yet. I want to do a kind of an easier going video, um, just some stuff on my mind. I, it, I'm not sure how often uh, this kind of stuff gets talked about, so I figured I might as well talk to it, because it, it is one of those things that stare me in the face. So, um, you know, when the folks talk about gaming, um, you know, what you sometimes hear is like, and and, and I, when I say gaming, I mean board gaming, war gaming, and like tabletop RPG type stuff, um, is that like I'll talk to an older guy or something and he'll say, you know, he didn't, he didn't play, you know, maybe he, he played D&D &D or he played war games. Um, in high school and then he just didn't because life got in the way and they would come back to it once they were retired or they were sort of older and the kids were out of the house, that kind of thing, or, or you know, they didn't have kids and they just sort of work slowed down and they got to a place where they could get involved in the hobby again. Um, and uh, what's interesting is um, kind of going off my other video where it was like, you know, part of the reason I'm doing the YouTube channel at all uh, is because it helps me not feel like I'm just in here by myself right, playing games. Like, obviously, I have multiplayer games. I play games with my wife. I'm very lucky that way. Um, but some of the more Hex Encounter heavier stuff is a little bit harder um, to get played right now, especially with the virus. So um, so I have that sort of aspect, you know, this hobby aspect of, of playing the game, doing the YouTube channel. That's part of the hobby experience for me more than just playing the games and going to conventions uh, when conventions are able to be had. Um, but, but recording this and then analyzing the games and talking about and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, part of the reason why those folks that stopped playing years back is like life gets ahead of them, right? Like life gets busy. And that's often the reason why I can't do videos. Um, it's because life is just too busy. I've, I've got too much stuff going on. Um, and it's work. You know, I work a lot um, doing important stuff, but it, you know, takes a lot of time. Um, and obviously family stuff, taking care of family, you know, spend time with family. It's really important. And, uh now it's springtime where I live, so it, it means I'm going to be doing yard work, too, um, through the summer and everything, and making improvements to our property and everything, and that, that's going to take time. So I, so I just know that, like, as I get into Korea Fire and Ice, and as I look at other stuff, like, there will probably be a slowdown, but I hope it's not a complete drop-off, right? Um and I, you know, I they hear people talk about like, oh, they, they, they didn't get into the hobby or they got into the hobby when they were younger and then they just couldn't because, you know, their dating lives kind of took up the time and, and you know, work and the family. And so they like left their hobbies behind um, only to come back to it. And I, and I look at that situation and go, well, is that going to happen to me, right? At what, am I going to reach a point where it's like, this is just none of it's sustainable, Um and I leave it behind for a couple decades. And I, I don't think that will happen. Um, but for those who watch and who watch regularly on the channel, I mean, I'd be interested to hear your experiences on this. If you've steadily been gaming all these years or if you had a break, um, I, I hear a lot with tabletop role-playing game stuff. Um, and, I, and I'm into that. I don't talk about it on the channel. Um, if folks are interested in that, maybe someday I will. But I, it, it just hasn't been a topic for the channel. Uh, because it originated as a tutorial for Fatal Alliances and World in Flames. But, um, you know, if I... Just kn just knowing that for those guys, it was, you know, they couldn't keep up with the tabletop role-playing game group, and so it kind of fell apart. And, like, that, in some ways, that's already happened to me. Like, I haven't really played a consistent tabletop role-playing game you know, in a while, in a group, regularly. Like, that's very hard to achieve um, with family, with work. I mean, it's just an impossibility until maybe, you know, kiddos get old enough that I introduce them to it. it there's there's a lull there. And at least with war games, I can do solitaire. Like, solitaire is very important. And, and my wife will play some of the war games with me, which enables me to uh, play some stuff as well. Card-driven games mostly and coin and that kind of stuff we can play. Um, and so I get to play those games right, without a big gap. 
and and I'll say I'm very lucky because, you know, I didn't have to sacrifice dating for gaming um, really any point in my life up, you know, so far. Like, it's just, I never had to pick one or the other. I either uh, dated, you know, girls who were cool with gaming or like gaming, you know, like D&D &D and stuff, um, or board games, you know, and, and for the ones who didn't, like that didn't stop me from enjoying my hobby. You know, if I dated someone who wasn't into that, it, it wasn't a problem, really. Um, and, and, and like I said, very lucky now because my wife will play games. Um, so I, I get a, and, and she understands that this is like the one of my things, right? And, and so I have a pretty wide, uh, you know, pretty wide uh, space to say, I'm going to, I'm going to pick up a game or I, you know, let's go to this convention. She likes going to conventions. Um, and while the area that I live in uh, might be described as some uh, uh, people with very uh, interesting worldview, um, that where I live is not a good place to live, I actually really like living in the uh, city area that I live in, um, in the region of the country that I live in. Um, like it quite a bit, and uh, it's a great place for war gamers. Uh, there are a lot of wargamers in the area, uh, and it has some good conventions around the area that wargamers can attend and, and play games and uh, network and all that good stuff. So, so I, you know, as I peer into the future, it's like, oh man, you know, am I, am I going to hit that wall where I can't do this anymore or I can't play games and it's just, it just, it's un, unfeasible to even play games at all? I'm hoping not. Right. That's that's the thing. It's like you hear the stories of folks that went away from it and came back um, and thinking about that and just trying to figure out like, OK, could would that happen here? I'm hoping it doesn't. Right. If, if all of a sudden I stop making videos or I do a farewell video and say, oh, my life's effed. I got to you know, I got to do other stuff. Um, you know, that could I guess that could happen. And, and the circumstances by which that could happen. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure, but one can imagine, I guess. Right. Um, but it is interesting to think about. Um, but when my kids get older, play tabletop role-playing games with them, I think that's a great thing. You know, you get math and creativity and all that good stuff. And, and maybe the war games will be a harder sell, but I think it's certainly possible to, to play some of these games with the kiddos when they get a bit older and, you know, depending on what their interests are. I realize some of this stuff is going to be old, old dad old dad stuff, you know, um, just like I still have movies on spinning discs, you know, that's going to be like the old, old guy thing, I guess. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It just, it's something, something I was thinking about because it, you know, it, my, my time is so constrained these days, um, that I'm lucky to get what videos I can get recorded. Um, and so like I'll, I'll hit a, hit a stride where I can do a whole bunch in a week just because I'm really like, I'm focused on it. I take the time away do it for the fun me time but you know and it, in other times you know it's just so busy I'll, I'll go weeks without recording right you guys see that so I don't know I mean it, it for so for you guys that are watching like what how do you how, how what has been your experience for for you folks that are older um did you have a lapse in the hobby for a while um or have you been playing steadily you know, with, with marriage, with kids, with jobs, which, with all of that, right? Um, I'm interested to hearing kind of folks' experiences. I, like I said, I, I don't really have any reason to think that anything's going to come up that would keep me from keep doing what I do. But um, like I said, I, I, I'm very fortunate uh, in, in who I'm married to and my overall life situation. I'm a, I'm a fortunate person and I uh, live in a good area for wargaming or feels like a good area for wargaming. Um, there are at least people out here who like to, to game, so that, that's an important piece of the puzzle. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just a quick video, guys. Um, sorry I can't do more. I want to do the review video. Maybe I'll be able to get to it this weekend. Um, we'll, we'll roll the dice on that and see what, what happens. Um, and I'm hoping shortly thereafter uh, I'll be able to get to Korea Fire Nice. Um, my phone... Uh, which I'm recording with today instead of the video camera, just because it's going to be easier to upload this from my from my phone. And the in the lighting uh, looks way better on my phone. My phone's great for recording video, apparently, but um, not so great for video editing. 
and I have to mess with files, and that's, uh, I don't know if I'll have as much time for that either, but my phone is sitting on top of a printed out uh, updated rules for Korea Fire and Ice, and I will talk about all of that uh, probably in the intro video for that game when, I, when I'm able to get to it. But I am hoping, you know, we get the Fall of Third Reich review done, um, and then shortly thereafter I should be able to start talking about Korea Fire and Ice. Um, I think so. Uh, and we'll see what happens from there. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. Just just something to chew on. Quick 10, 11 minute video um, to hold you over until the next one. Uh, and you get a shot a little bit of my, my shelfie view. Um, you can pause the video and kind of look at what I got if you really care. I, I've thought about doing a shelfie video, but I just haven't brought myself to do it. So I've got, I got stuff down below. I've got some stuff up top, some stuff that's sitting uh, on the very, very top. And then... You know, I got stuff over here. History books takes up a good bit of that shelving unit as well. So, I don't know. If you really care, <laughs> there's some stuff to look at. Um, just wanted a background, and it's a little too rainy to do an outside video um, easily without having the rain disrupting the audio. So, there you go, guys. Um, so, until maybe this weekend, guys, I hope you like the video. Um, let me know your thoughts. Hope that I don't have to go into a dark, uh, dark age of not gaming and recording videos. Uh, that's my hope. We'll keep to it. Um, but until then, take care, guys, and uh, keep gaming.